Hey guys, what's going on? Sneaky Freak here, and today I have another video for you guys about the new map pack called Vengeance. And but um, this video will just focus just on the zombies and the new map called Buried. And um, I got one thing right in the last video I posted, and but we'll get into that later. But um, here are just two pictures about the new map, just little snippets about it. Um, the first one is probably the main area, and um, this is probably be where all of the action happens, where all of the easter eggs are, except for the side of the map. And if you look straight underneath the R, it actually looks like there is um, the mystery box. You can tell it's sort of bluish. And the next image is just another um, buried, and just another cinematic. But actually getting into the first picture, here we have the um, the main chorus area. It looks literally like a um, like when you completed the moon easter egg that all these rocks just got flung on top of the little town. And um, this little town is looks like it's abandoned, but somehow the main characters are returning in this map. And somehow they find themselves here and they have to fight the undead. I'll have to get the storyline behind that somehow, but that's just the main area right there. Looks all nice and dandy. And getting into the second image, we see our four main characters back in action into this map. Um, and, you know, we get the main characters back. Well, not the really main characters, like we had in Black Ops 1 and World at War, but we have the main Black Ops 2 characters back. And um, no more Mob of the Dead of how we do not have our main characters back. And it's pretty cool. I can hear more of... The crazy quotes and you know want to be Arlington's even more and hear the groaning. Um, now we get into this picture and it might not seem as a important picture, but there are two things that really catch me um, that really caught me in this picture. And the first is on the right. If you look at the window, it doesn't look like it's underground. From this wall, it looks like you're looking outside because you can see the blue sky, and that's usually just just a, just a little bit of a sign that your window is facing outside or to the sky. I mean, it could be underground looking at just a little hole, but um, you never know. It, 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 you never know. It could be just that, or it could be a hole, or it could be just painted. You never know. And, um, what's really caught my eye on the left is, um, if we're, uh, if we're looking outside, there should be, um, there should be a window making the light over there, but there's no light, no window. So what I think over there looks like a new perk, because, um, it has another tint of another color that, um, the only perk I can actually think of that looks like that would be Double Tap, because it's rounded at the top, but, um, it's not really orangish. It, it's, it's more like a nice yellow-orange Double Tap is, but this really looks like a really, um, deep orange, a little more orange than the last, and, um, in the next picture, we see another George Romero and from Call of the Dead. Yay! Good job, Treyarch. Good job. Um, I'm not really looking forward to this because they said he can be used against you, but he can be used with you trying to kill the zombies. And I would say that the same thing has to do with George Romero in Call of the Dead. Because he's a nuisance when you're trying to run rape trains. He's a nuisance when you're trying to go downstairs. He's everywhere, he gets annoying, he da he downs you when he gets mad because he slows you down and you fall into your rape train. But he also, when you kill him, he gives you the Wonder Waff, and he also gives you a free perk. So it's a double-edged sword. And in this, they said it's another double-edged sword. You can learn how to use him correctly, which is to kill him, or get the VR-11 and, um, and just, you know, put him away inside the water. Or, maybe when you kill him, it's like a free perk. Or maybe you can, um, but, um, I would say for sure that he has to do something with the Easter egg. I'm just saying, and, um, little, little Easter egg in this picture, you can see the galvan knuckles on the left of his elbow. Now, getting into the meat of this, we see the new and improved Raygun Mark II. Yeah. I'm not really sure what they're going to do with this. If the Raygun 1, or Mark 1, is going to still be in existence in this map, or if this is just the replacer of this 
the ray gun. I mean, and, um, and this is where I told you I got it right. In the last video I posted just a little while ago, I said that this looks more like a gun than it does like a wonder weapon. And I... <laughs> I couldn't have been any more right, because in the trailer, it shows them shooting through the zombies, and it says it does direct damage. It will kill your rape train when you shoot through the zombies. I mean, I mean, I got it right, I'm just saying. And, um, it looks a lot cooler, too. I mean, um, it looks more like a gun than it does like a pistol, and, um, hopefully this makes it a little bit less recoil. I'm just kidding. I don't really care about the recoil with the rear gun, honestly. You can hip fire easy. But if it's a gun now, maybe you're able to put some more, um, attachments on it. Maybe, and, um, just for saying that, I think you can customize this. I wouldn't doubt that you can customize this gun, honestly. I mean, they they gotta do that. They gotta make it so that you can customize it. But um, that's pretty much it. This map pack looks amazing. I mean, the multiplayer I'm probably gonna stick away from. I'm probably gonna get some of that in there. But the zombies, the zombies, the zombies. It looks amazing. I can't wait. And I can't wait to bring you guys more of this epic map pack. And I will see you guys later if they release any more news. So um, until then, bye.